Hey, what's up guys? It's Stripper's Journey here. And so, I wanted to talk about something. You guys have seen, like, you know, like these, like, animations, uh, that people have made that include them being on their phone, you know, like a whole group of people, you know, just to symbolize, um, just to symbolize that, oh, everyone's on their phones, you know, they're rotting their brains, etc. What I'm about to say is that this is actually even more brainwashing. Okay, so what I mean here is that, um, we have been programmed to think that whenever we're on our phones like a whole bunch of people that narrative is actually brainwashing it's it really like it's not really that bad that you're on your phone is it, it just we're also brainwashed to look up things that are meaningless see that's the bad aspect stuff like social media and the such so, really, if you're on your phone all the time, researching, actually looking up valuable information, talking to people to, I don't know, confirm that information and the such, as long as you're doing good, it's not really bad. Because if you're on your computer a lot, that's basically the same thing. If you're doing a whole bunch of research on that, it's equivalent to doing a whole bunch of research on your phone it's just brainwashing but at the same time a lot of people look up meaningless stuff on their phone they're just always on their phone looking at just meaningless sh shit but at the same time hey if you message a friend that's probably a long ways away through social media that's okay you, you know you are talking to somebody communicating with them to say what you want to say to them same thing as going on the computer and being all like uh like typing up a very important message that needs to go out answering emails and you you may think like oh no yeah the, the the person at work is just doing all these emails you know they're 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 probably at a desk job doing this it's to answer stuff, answer information that has the workflow and the whole system flowing to bring in money. And yes, money is, you know, the root of all evil. Yeah. Doom and gloom. That's what that is. More programming. Doom and gloom. You're giving something to receive something. And money could be a blessing in that, in that degree, in, in that perspective. So, really, it's just a whole bunch of brainwashing. Clever, clever brainwashing. Now, where did I get this information from? I just thought of it. <laughs> like, uh, I don't know, something like uh, 10 minutes ago. Yeah, uh, think of this from a better perspective. What, it, it, it is trading bananas and different fruits to your neighbor the root of all evil? Money is in the same aspect of just simply trading. Yes, it is the root of all evil, but at the same time, it's just an alternative to trading, trading different items. And so, I'm just going to leave this video here. I, I hope this makes sense. I just wanted to say this because I feel like that this may be valuable information for people that feel like Money, oh, it's so bad, that means I should avoid it. More brainwashing there. If you avoid money, 
you're poor. <laughs> well, you just, you have the lack of currency. So you're not with the current narrative that, you know, every, like the government and all this are trying to push uh, you and that makes you more controllable. And so that's about it. Yeah. All right. This is Tripper's Journey. Keep on tripping on, y'all. Peace.